Hi, I'm Joseph, the Communications Officer at FEMS, and we're here to get to know the speakers, the scientists, the volunteers, and some researchers a bit better. So where better to start than go to interview our incoming president for FEMS, Professor Hilary Lappin-Scott, and her colleague, Sarah Burton, who both delivered a very successful and amazing networking session for our Congress attendance grantees earlier today. Thank you for joining us in the FEMS 2021 booth. I have Sarah Burton from the University of Exeter and Hiri Lappin-Scott, our Vice President and incoming President of FEMS, the entire organization. So they've just been giving a fantastic networking presentation to our Congress attendance grantees, getting them to break over the barriers of trying to meet new people, make new connections for your career and for your research and just for science in general. So I'm going to pose a few questions to our guests here and uh, hopefully get to know a few more interesting things about you and microbiology. Yeah, the thing is, Joe, I'm a rule breaker. Okay. Uh, so I'd like to come in what you said about the, the session. Yeah, Sarah absolutely. and I have done sessions for early career researchers for the last four FEMS meetings, at least now, because quite simply we're passionate about supporting young scientists, give them some tools, some advice, how to get the most out of the conference. And you know what? I absolutely loved it. I'm shattered right now, but I loved the session and what a great reaction. It's brilliant. Anyway, sorry, Joe. I've no, been so I was naughty. just going to come in again on, on the same point. So you yeah. mentioned that Hillary was your mentor in some way when you were growing up and working your way, way through your career. In many ways. So we're talking about mentoring in the session and we're saying you can't do science on your own. Science is bigger than we are and we can only have a few techniques and have a small understanding of microbiology as a whole and to grow your understanding to grow your confidence and for your name to be known and for you to be able to apply for grants move on in microbiology it is a team effort these days there's no question about it and to be part of teams nationally and internationally is much more powerful than trying to go it alone if you try to go it alone you're going to be isolated and you're not going to have so much fun so, Hillary was my mentor from, ooh, <laughs> when I was doing my PhD, it was quite some time ago, and uh, I helped Hillary run her lab group, yeah. and gradually we did more and more. We had, in total, 50 PhD students through the lab group. Mm -hmm. We mainly had industrial money. We had a lot of fun doing it, mm -hmm. but Hillary has shown me the way to manage microbiology, to manage microbiology labs, and then I've gone more an education route, mm -hmm. and Hillary's gone into senior management and higher education and other roles. Yeah. Wonderful. Well, then I guess we'll move on to sort of the questions I'm asking everyone at FEMS. Um, and there's three simple questions, so hopefully no matter what your interest or education in microbiology is, you'll be able to get something out of it. So the first question, and I'm giving this to both of you, is what is your favorite microbe and why? Oh, we're going to be greedy here. Shall I come with mine? Well, I think you're going to say the same thing, but go on. Okay. I'm not going to have one microbe. I'm going to have my whole microbiome. Oh, wow. Okay. It's my whole microbiome of the organisms which are on and in me, and I best be friends with them because they'd be friends with me. That's the way it works. So my whole microbiome, because then I'll function well and be happy, healthy. Who knows? Maybe one day, wealthy. Yeah. I mean, neither of us have ever worked, I don't think, with one microbe, one bacterium. We've always worked with complex communities, microbiome for our whole career, from a whole variety of environments. You were talking about your body, but equally river, soil, seawater. So there we are. I told you we'd be disruptors. That's didn't okay. It's fine. That's what science is about. We know this. So my second question is, um, what is the one piece of microbiological knowledge that every person in the world should know about or should know? Again, I'd like to be greedy if I may. Go um, for it. First of all, in terms of medical microbiology, I would say the world has been changed by us adopting and using wisely vaccines. Long may that continue. And in terms of environmental microbiology, if I might, the biggest change that we could make globally for the well-being of all societies and for economic development would be clean drinking water. It is simple, it's achievable. Do we choose to do that globally? And Hilary? Oh, they're, that, they're great answers. I'm a bit jealous now. I think I would say that remind people, or if they're not aware, that microorganisms, single-celled life forms, 
first life forms on planet Earth three and a half billion years ago. And from them and from their growth, they shaped the entire planet and made it inhabitable with the rest of us. And they continue to be essential for every aspect of our daily lives. And I guess that unbroken chain of replication all the way back to that first single-celled organism yeah. leads to everyone in the world. So it's a good thing yes. to know about. Yes, yeah. isn't it just <laughs> mind-blowing, actually? Yeah, fantastic. Um, I guess my final question then is, while we're talking about people, who is your microbiology hero and why? Of any scientist, either dead, alive, known or unknown to you, who would you like to give a shout out to now? Now, it's always hard, this, isn't it? But uh, for me, it would have to be Rita Colwell, absolute fabulous scientist and such an ins inspiration uh, for, for many of us, has shaped the understanding of cholera so that now we can predict and have prevention strategies in many different locations in the world. Still at the a conference I was at a few weeks ago was giving five different talks, despite the career stage and life stage that, that she is now in. Sarah? Uh, for me? Ooh, well, here's a one. One of my microbiology heroes would be Dr. Gardner. The reason is that he was the microbiologist who cultured the microbes that were first used, the very first experiments on penicillin. Penicillin was the start of the whole pharma industry. Penicillin has changed literally how long millions of people live. But also because his son and he used to live in my village at home. So oh, that's very a local lovely connection. local connection yeah, as fantastic. well. Yeah, fantastic. It's a real guy in the village, well known and loved locally. But he had that huge impact as the bacteriologist involved in those first experiments with mice. Okay, fantastic. Well, that's the end of my questions. Um, and I just want to say, if you aren't here at FEMS 2019, there is, of course, FEMS 2021 that you can go to in Hamburg. Hopefully, both of you will be there. Yes, so you'll I'll hopefully be, there. be able to see all of our faces in the flesh. Um, and that's it from me. Thank you very much for your time here. Enjoyed Thank you very it. much. Thank no you. worries. Thank you.